All right, Mo. So, look, we don't even know what we're doing here. We don't know if this is a show, it's a podcast. This is just two bros hanging out, creating some dope NFC content. That's right. Right? That's right. All right. But check this out. We have our first guest, which actually is kind of crazy because, like, we never thought we would be doing this and having guests. But Let's go. Here we are. So, why don't we... I'm excited because you are the you, you told me about this guest. So Yes, I did. So, why, why don't we bring him on? Let's all right, all right. Bring him on. Let, let's, let's get this started. Boom. <laughs> Boom. Look at the, look at the transition, bro. <laughs> we don't, we don't have a we don't have a round of applause sound effect, but I'm going to give you a round of applause right here because this is our first <laughs> guest. This is monumental, you know? So, I'll, look, bro, for those who don't know, this is our guy, Bakker Party. Be- I don't want to give your introduction. I want to let you do that. So, take, take the floor, bro, and let everyone know who you are. Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, I go by Bakker Party on uh, both Twitter and Discord. I've uh, been in the NFT game since earlier this year. Um, yeah, and I think we've connected a couple times on Twitter and stuff, so it's nice <laughs> to finally actually chat with you guys. Yo, it's always nice seeing yeah. another Indian brother, in, you know, <laughs> brown skin brother in, in the game. You feel me, man? Yeah, Excited so. for this conversation. <laughs> so why don't we go, you know, the, the main point of this today is obviously get to know you and kind of see your thoughts on what's happening. But towards the end, we're going to talk about something special that you just recently launched. But before we get into that, why don't we just touch on a little bit about your current collection mm-hmm. and what you got going on in this crazy world of NFTs, man. What what you got, man? Tell us. Tell the people what you got. Oh, man. I don't know. Should I start with my hidden folder first or what? <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, hidden folder. I want to know. I want to know that one. Yeah. So I don't know. Like, I think I'm a... Uh... I'm like a hybrid collector. There's a lot of stuff that I like to keep long term. Um, I set my, I set a strategy up like really early where my primary goal in all of this is just to stack as much Ethereum as I can. Smart, right? Along yeah. the way, um, I want to accumulate my blue chips um, and kind of like let them sit. But at the end of the day, like everything has a price. So I'm not that kind of guy that says like, hey. Yeah this is my forever cat or forever ape. Like, yeah, it might be just because it might never hit that price. <laughs> that I'm to go at. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, but everything has a price. Like everything in my collection is, is listed. And I think that's the Daryl Morey strategy, I think. Right. He, uh, yes. he dropped that bit a couple months ago. Um, so yeah, I really, I really like that. Um, I, I buy into everything, man. Like the space is just the opportunity and the upside is like so monumental. Um, and some projects where they have like a free mint or, like a super low uh, price to mint at, it's worth it to just like dabble in um, and you're playing that RNG game, right? You're trying to hit a rare. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely a, a proud rent seeker for the most part, but um, for good reason, <laughs> for good reason. I think. So in, in the collection right now, what are you like happiest about? What's, what would you say is like yeah. your prize, what are yeah. some of the prize pieces? Let's go. So these last 24 hours <laughs> makes me a very proud doodles collector. Uh, oh, so okay, okay. Um, I actually had, I bought one. I didn't mint them. Um, I missed the mint. I was busy. Like, you know, I, IRL is always negative EV, right? That's what we say. Um, so I missed <laughs> the mint. And then I picked one up off secondary for just over an Ethereum. That one actually ended up selling while I was out again. And I didn't oh, know. Wow. So I rushed home, copped another one. Um, so now I got a cute little guy with a, with a mad note on his face um, and a backpack. So and that, that one actually, like, it's funny, it resonates me, with me because it's like I was never into school growing up and stuff. So this guy's like, he's got like a, like the sad, mad, sticky note on his face with a backpack. Looks like he's like <laughs> pissed off going to school or whatever. <laughs> no, I love it. Um, which, which collections right now are you like most bullish on? Like, is there something that you want to get? Like, do you have an ape? Oh, do you have a CryptoPunk? Do you care about those? Is something else coming up that you want to grab? No, I actually put out a tweet a couple of weeks ago where it was like, I'm so bullish on Web3. I'm so bullish on NFTs, on yep. Ethereum and the entire space altogether. But there is like one reason why I'll never buy a CryptoPunk. Um, and that is just because I don't have enough Ethereum. Um, so I like, I, I want to, like I would obviously want to. It's like, a blue, it's like the blue chip of the blue chips. So are apes. Um, I've always been priced out of them. Um, but again, like, I don't see myself ever dropping like 40 ETH on something, um, just because again, <laughs> not, like, my primary goal is to collect Ethereum, right? If my primary goal is to right. collect Ethereum, right. uh, why would I spend it on something that could potentially be a liquid one day? Um, and we don't know that. So definitely don't have those, but I do yeah. have, like I said, I got the doodles. I got a cool cat. Um, I'm really, really bullish on Kaiju Kings. I think they're a little bit oh, um, undervalued okay. right now um so they got a lot of upside but yeah just in general like i think 
like just the way like the dynamic works with Ethereum going up and down versus right. NFTs yeah. going up and down. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's kind of easy to be bullish on everything all at once. And yeah, then yeah. it's also very easy to be bearish on everything all at once as well. No, that makes sense. And um, I want to kind of jump in here. Next question for you, because you, you're talking about a lot of collection. Like, it seems like you have a pretty good collection. So why why are you actually bullish on NFTs? Like tell the people who might not even know what NFTs are. Like, why are you bullish on this? Yeah, so I mean, like, I could go like the typical cliche route and say, you know what, like metaverse this, metaverse that, Web3, all that junk. You know what, like, at my so like the way I explain it to my friends is my vision of like an online world in the future consists of not just us going into like Decentraland or like Sandbox and like stuff like that and like walking around going to different NFT projects. I truly believe that when we go and like, if I want to cop like, like a Raptors jersey or something, I'm going to have to use my mm. NFT like avatar and I'm going to use it to like walk around a shopping mall and find like, yes, sir. Um, yeah. like a jersey store, right? And like, mm -hmm. I'm going to walk into that jersey store and then I'm going to be able to try on like a Scotty Barnes jersey or an OG jersey or something like that. And then I'll, and then I'll, I'll pay for it using some sort of cryptocurrency. And then it'll get confirmed and the delivery will get shipped to my, sorry, to my house. Um, and like, I don't think people really look at it that way right now. They're very like focused in, um, this is how we can access the board AP yacht club in the metaverse and stuff like that. Like there's still a huge gap between like the virtual side and the reality side. Um, and so I think like, the future is just bridging that gap and bringing it closer together in a way that not a lot of people, I think, will expect. No, yeah, I totally agree. And there's like, we're seeing that with a lot of projects, how they're bridging that the real world, the real utility. And then um, I'm, t I'm totally bullish on this as well. I with you on that one 100%. But you also told me that he's got a project going on right now. You do have an interesting project. So when I saw you, it's been this i think it was just this week actually but anyways saw you drop it i'm like okay let me see you know let me see what my guy over here is cooking up and off top i'm gonna let you explain it but i was just super intrigued just hopping into discord and kind of seeing what you're trying to do um but why don't you introduce it and tell everyone like you know the concept behind this and why you why you're doing it yeah for sure yeah so the project is called mystery mints um and that like the name is the project so everything to do with what the project is what we're doing about it it's it remains a mystery up until right now. Um, there's actually things that some people in our founders team have thought of that we aren't even sharing with one another. Um, so it's a mystery <laughs> even within the project <laughs> itself. Like there'll be times where, you know, we'll drop a, a hint in the group and stuff or in the discord. Um, and I'll go message the guy and be like, what are you talking about? And he's like, no, it's a mystery for you too, bro. So um, it truly is a, a mystery project. I mean, we have obviously what our project is going to be. Uh, we know what it is and all that kind of stuff, but we're trying to keep it under wraps until until we actually like launch. Um, so we're launching our website tomorrow um, at some point. So we'll be able to, we'll be sure to blast out like obviously the link and stuff like that on Twitter um, and Discord. Um, but for right now, we're really just talking about how we can create value for our collectors. And um, really that's what the project is gonna be. It's gonna be maximizing value for the people that buy our NFT, um, giving back to them as much as possible, and then like we're, we're true believers and actions speak louder than words. So um, since we launched our Discord, I think like four days ago, we've already given away like eight, nine different things. Um, we're giving away a Steph Curry MGLE. Um, this uh, Sunday, I believe, we gave away a couple Top Shop moments in the past couple of days. Um, not just worth like, you know, five, six bucks, like something that's actually considerable because that's really what our project yeah. is going to be. I just wanted to let you know I'm, I'm I've been disappointed because I'm I'm all of eight. <laughs> I'm all of eight on the giveaways, man. You know I've seen all these people try to win giveaways, but it, it's gonna happen. I know. And so let me let me ask you this because I I love what you guys are trying to do, and I also think it's so unique that even within the founding group, there's mm -hmm. a mystery because I think there's yeah. just something so special to be built there. What's the most important thing to you as you build out mystery mints? Like, what's the number one thing that you want to like be able to portray or do with the project? Transparency from the project team. Um, and then yep. like organic growth with the community, right? Like we are so anti paying for advertising and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff, because yeah. at the end of the day, like those people that join, 
um, because you paid for them to join, they're not going to pay money to buy into your project, right? There you go. Exactly. So, so lately we see these discords with 80,000 people, 100,000 people, and then they sell like 1% of their supply on mint day. And everybody's kind of looking at one another like, oh, why didn't we sell out? Well, 95% of your people aren't actually people, right? Like they're bought. Oh, man. And so, well, yeah, we're firm believers that like organic growth is what's going to actually create long-term value. And that's what we're focused on. We're not just focused on selling out on day right. one. We're right. not focused on the first week or two or the first month of the project. This is something that we're creating that is going to return um, a considerable amount of value. Right. And a considerable amount of Ethereum back to our collectors. Um, I'm now I'm just curious, are you working with an artist on this project? Like, is, is, is there art involved in this or is it more of just a token that can unlock stuff? Oh, you're trying to get the goods. Out yeah, of man, I, I really <laughs> want to, bro. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> so we do have an artist that we're working with. All right. Um, and we have dropped a couple hints on Twitter. Like, I think he has just pulled up the page. Um, that one yeah. little graphic, like the 3D. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm intrigued. Um, it's like a mystery mint. What is together. this? <laughs> um, so we do have an artist that is working on our project. All right. Um, but again, like maintaining the mystery, <laughs> like you don't know if that means that there's going right. to be art involved with the NFT or if that's mm. just something that he's doing for a Twitter page. You're just making me want to mint pretty much. That's what you're trying to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, that's my job, right? <laughs> no, that, that, that's beautiful, bro. Um, so website's dropping tomorrow. Yeah. What, and then when's the, so when's the official release? Like what can we expect next in the next week from you guys? More giveaways, man. Stay in the Discord. I love it. Stay, lo there you stay go. locked on Twitter. Like we're giving away. And so like right now we've been giving away a bunch of stuff that's like, you know, click the click that little reaction in Discord to win like X NFT, right? Like a chain oh, yeah. runner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. Chain monkey. yeah. But I think I think what we're gonna do is start creating a little bit more mystery there too. And it's just gonna be giveaways. And so you won't know what you win until you win. Um and so we're going to try to even dial that back a little bit more. Um, I like it. And yeah, just create that intrigue, man. So far, it's working and hopefully it continues. It's exciting, bro. I think like it's just cool. To, it's cool to see obviously all the NFT projects that are happening in the world. But it's also cool to see like another Canadian do it. Someone like, you know, that's kind of like in that same city and stuff. So it's like, it's super interesting for sure. Um, I think we're just looking forward to yeah. it. I'm looking forward to have the chance to hopefully mint it and, and be a part. Mm -hmm. and see where this thing is just going to go. So yeah, I guess what I, what, I, what I would like to leave this on is... Tell them. <laughs> oh, hold on. I think you're thinking something, something separate. Oh, maybe, maybe. Hold on. What do you think? You go first. Well, I was just thinking, you know, if, if we're in the spirit of giving away... Yeah, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> if we're what in I was the spirit thinking. of giving away, you know, can we get some for, you know, a little giveaway for should the people watching? Away? Should we what? give away a little bit? The question um, is, yeah. The question is, should we give away, and what should we give away? So I'm, I'm gonna throw the mic to you. The, the mic's hot though, so if you want to hold it, grab it. <laughs> it's, it's all so for you. I think either you go big or you go home, right? So there I say is. we forget, we is. forget the other giveaways, we forget everything else. Let's give away some free mints. How about that? Boom. That's beautiful. So we'll give away. We'll give away That's two it, man. free mystery mints. Ooh. Uh, after, you, you, uh, after you, you guys heard it right here. Two free mystery mints unreal bro and we can't get them <laughs> yeah so that means we're i, I got i got a mint bro <laughs> I, I, I got a mint man <laughs> all right so you guys heard it here first yeah, you, guys, you guys gotta reward your followers man reward your collectors reward your followers now we, we really appreciate that bro like i said this is this has been cool like we're excited to have you as our first guest and be able to create this even though it was a short time that's right you know that like i said we've been talking for our for months now just randomly on twitter about different things and different projects so cool to finally connect and, and be able to build this and I'm excited to see where this is going to be in 2022, bro, and like what Mystery Mints is going to become. Yeah, let's hope it takes off. Let's hope uh, the community exactly. buys in and, you know, with everyone's support, we'll get there. And then just uh, to leave off, can you just plug away all your socials so, so the people can follow you? Obviously, we're going to put all that stuff in the, yeah. in the bios and all that, but just plug it away, bro. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So on Twitter, uh, the project's at Mystery Mints. Plug that first. Uh, personally, it's at Backer Party. Um, everything's pretty interconnected. So if you hop on that Twitter account, you'll see a Discord link. Um, giveaways on Twitter, giveaways on Discord. Beautiful. Pretty much every day, multiple times a day, <laughs> day and night. Um, hop in there if you like free stuff, man. You guys heard it. 
right there, man. Yo, thank you so much yeah. again, bro, for hopping on as our first guest. Until next time, take it easy, everyone. Thanks for having me, guys.